has been a little while, but our while. dear friend Lori Aker from Earth Fair is back with us this morning, and we haven't seen you since before the pandemic. I right? know it's been such a long time. It's so great to be back. Thank you for having you us. You look amazing, and thank you. And you had a baby. Well, I just well, did a baby boy named Wilder. So new I addition. Love that name uh, Wilder. What did you say his middle name? Wilder was? Blue. Oh, what an <laughs> awesome name! Absolutely. So congratulations. You. Do you love being a mother? Thank you. I do. It's such oh. a journey, and I'm having a great time. That is awesome. Yeah. We're so happy you're back with us. Thank you. Thank and you. And you brought along some great ideas for fall. It's we like did. the perfect fall inspired charcuterie board. Absolutely. So perfect for weather, even mm -hmm. if you're having friends over to sit on the patio, right. watch the game, have a little bonfire, Absolutely. whatever. Absolutely. There's so much fun to make too. They really are, Absolutely. right? And this is just gorgeous. So, Thank And also you. you're going to talk about this little brie. Yes, cheese. we have a quick and easy appetizer. You can make it in under 15 minutes. Perfect for any party that you have going on, especially with tailgate season here. Yes. So we'll show you how to make that. But when building your charcuterie board, there's a few yeah. things that you want to keep in mind. Okay. First of all, you want to keep a lot of color and texture. After all, we eat with our eyes first. So True. make sure that the board is nice and full. You have plenty of variety of colors and textures there. Secondly, I like that. Mm -hmm. you did with those little peppers, that yeah, the pe red? The peppers, they're my favorite. Those they add great. such the perfect punch of color to the board. Now, yeah. secondly, whenever, you, you know, whatever variety of cheese that you serve to your guests, make sure that you pull it out of the fridge and let it come to room temperature. Mm, good idea. The longer it sits, the more those flavors will peak and you'll really get the full potential from your cheeses that how way. How long is it a good, mm -hmm. how long would you say? Put At it least out, an hour. At least an At hour. At least an hour. One to two hours is really going to be your sweet spot And then there. when the board is out, how long is it okay mm -hmm. to have the board out? You can have the board out for a few hours, three, four hours, and you can refill as you go. And whenever you build your board, keep in mind you want to build it clockwise and work from ascending flavor profiles from mildest to wildest. Oh! Yes. Oh, I like that. <laughs> mildest to wildest. Easy to remember. And yeah, in three I just throw cheeses. the cheese on there and the, everyone can kind of figure it out. <laughs> right, but right. I Work like clockwise. That. Work clockwise. So we started with our Le Bon uh, V Brie. Okay. This is an eight ounce brie wheel, perfect for any board. And it's great for baking, which is what we're going to use in our recipe okay, in just that's a moment. That one. Nice and, and creamy and buttery flavor. This is an extra sharp cheddar cheese. It goes perfect oh. with fromage fig spread. Fromage Ooh. literally means friend of cheese. It is the universal concept for any cheese or charcuterie board. It literally goes with anything, but wow. you get that nice sweet and salty okay, effect that's of the cheddar. That one. And then, then we that. have our, a nice Swiss Alpine. This is our um, Shell and Bell. It's delicious. It's very mild, and you can pair it with a nice crispy cracker, mm. um, and you can even pair it with a little bit of prosciutto. So we oh, have some yeah. of the highest quality prosciutto at Earth Fair. It's uh. hand coated in Himalayan salt, and it's sl slow cured for about 12 hours Wait, to lock what? in that freshness. Really? Oh, it's amazing. Oh, You'll only get it great. at Earth Fair. Then last but not least, our Danish blue, our Danico. It's creamy, Beautiful. it's mild, so if you're someone that's not a huge fan of blue cheese, because it does have, you have to have an acquired taste for it, it's very mild. We call it the gateway to blue, because if you try it, chances are you're coming over to the blue side okay, of that I one. Okay, I love that, and I love blue cheese. Anytime I get steak or anything, I love blue cheese on I top. Love, I love also it. Also what I like, you guys, because mm -hmm. I'm so into labels, and you have to be right. now these days, but you guys kind of, anything that's at Earth Fair, mm -hmm. you walk in the door and you know you guys have already done all the label reading, and you make sure that it's healthy and when it says organic, it means organic. You got it. That's our food philosophy. Reread the labels so you don't have to. No artificial colors, flavors, preservatives. We were one of the first grocery stores to completely eliminate high fructose corn syrup from our wow. shelves way back in 2004. So wow. we, we walk the walk and we talk the talk. Yeah, I mean, you walk in those doors. So you're in this area, you're mm -hmm. in eight states, 20 locations throughout eight right. states. We're lucky to have one down in Canton mm -hmm. in Stark County to our friends down there and then one here in Fairview Park. Fairview Park, you got it. Absolutely. And we're so happy to be back here in good. the community serving folks nice, uh, healthy food. Healthy, good stuff. All right, Absolutely. Show us real quick All what, right. what you're doing with the skillet. So we have an apple and pecan baked brie. It incorporates some of the best flavors that this season has to offer. If you want to stir for me, yes, I we're simply stir. adding in a little bit of honey crisp apple, about okay. one to two apples. You can also use Granny Smith. And I keep on the skin just for a little extra color yeah, and it's, added and it's, nutrients. And it's healthy. Yeah. Okay, now, was it. that butter in there or yep, oil? Yeah, that's grass fed butter. I use okay. the carrot. Gold is one of my favorites. Oh yeah, I love so you just melt a pad in there, and then we okay. added some chopped pecans and then some 
cranberries, some dried cranberries. Okay. Now these are from Earth Fair's bulk department and the great oh, yeah. thing is you could get as much or as little as you like. So if you don't want to buy a whole bag of chopped pecans, nice. you could get a couple of scoops okay, for Okay, we're going to have to wrap. So, do, so, oil, so, so you did the honey. A little bit of honey, a little bit of brown sugar, okay. top it off with some cinnamon and Yum. a dash of nutmeg. And you will stir this for about five minutes. Okay. And then what we'll do is we took our bon brie here and we cut it lengthwise. Okay. And you literally just scoop about half of the mixture on top. Oh, put it inside. Yeah, put it inside and you're going to preheat the oven to 350, 375 and bake for about 10 to 12 minutes. What a great we'll idea. Put the other half right on top. And we actually have a finished product right over there by our board. It'll look something like that. And you like can over here, with a little Lori, bit of local thank honey. you. It looks gorgeous. And then you guys have your Fall Fest coming up. Fall Fest this Saturday, 11 to 4, at both Earth Fair locations in Canton and Fairview Park. We'll have 20% off store wide sale. Wow. We'll have a Harvest Festival cookout, Granny Smith apple sausages, Yum. pumpkin pecan sausages. I saw uh, tastings, complimentary beer and wine. Beer, wine tastings, wow. live music, free pumpkin decorating for kids. So, so much fun. Again, this Saturday, 11 to 4. Oh my gosh, you are amazing. Thank, Thank you, you for the recipe too. We will post it and it's great to have you back. Thanks for having Check us. Check out Earth Fair. It is such an <laughs> awesome place. What a great idea for this, this charcuterie board. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Thank you.